howdy and happy new year. Wow, I cannot believe it's already 2023. Where in the world did the past year go? I also can't believe that I'm coming up on my eight month mark here as your chief of police in White Settlement. Time is really flying by. I wanna dedicate this first edition of the new year to talk about everything that your police department accomplished over the past year. And when I say we did a lot, I'm not exaggerating. I was amazed at the level of teamwork that was completed over the past year and what your police department has done since April of 2022. So let's get this list started. You know, I'm most proud of our new community engagement efforts that have been going on. You know, you've heard me say this before, it takes the whole community to partner to reduce crime. You know, if you're waiting for the police department to solve all of society's issues and crime, unfortunately, you will be disappointed. We are a tool as a police department, but when we partner with you, we become a force multiplier. It can affect real positive change across our community. Just think back over the past eight months on all the cases that you have helped solve, either by calling us when you see suspicious activity or by helping us identify a person of interest or a suspect that committed a crime. Together, we are strong. You know, when I arrived, our citizen engagement programs were really non-existent. You know, there's a lot of reasons for that. I think a lot of it had to do with the pandemic, but at the end of the day, we had to get them restarted. We had to create some new initiatives that really encouraged our community to come out. We now have the following community engagement programs that are alive and well and doing very good in our community. First, let me start with the Citizens Police Academy, a 13-week training program that meets weekly. We do one in the fall and one in the spring. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to launch our second Citizens Police Academy in a few weeks, so make sure you get signed up. Citizens on Patrol, you know, these are graduates of our Citizens Police Academy, and they assist our city by patrolling alongside with officers. We continue to look for innovative ways to expand our participation numbers with our COP program. We also launched Dog Walker Watch, first of its kind in Texas. We brought that here this past summer, and we now have almost four dozen participants. You know, the idea is really simple in Dog Walker Watch. We train you to be our extra eyes and ears while you walk your furry friends. We host quarterly meetings. We give you all the equipment that you need. We would love for you to join us as well. We're also getting ready to launch our Public Safety Cadets program. I am so excited about this. We just got approval last week from their executive board to start our program here. If you've got a teenager or a young adult ages 14 to 20 and they have an interest in being a police officer, this program's for them. They're eligible. This is really gonna bridge the gap between police and young people who want to pursue a career in policing. You know, the best part of this program is that participants who meet our hiring criteria and are members of Public Safety Cadets, they're gonna get a guaranteed job interview with us. This will create a pipeline of homegrown talent to become police officers to serve all of you. Our program starts in just a few weeks, so head on over to social media, find that brochure, and send us an email to get signed up. On the youth front, we also participate with the Investigators Club at West Elementary with Academy 4 where officers routinely host educational sessions with fourth and fifth graders and talk about core life skills that encourage positive behaviors through mentorship. We also participate with Special Olympics to support you know, the many kids who go out and shine their light through sports. Regardless of the disability that they're facing, we're right there with them to encourage them. We also created a Take Me Home program over the summer this new initiative that was launched allows parents to register any kid or adult who has special needs such as autism or a developmental disability or disorder so that we can reunite your loved one with you in the event that they become separated or lost in the community. We also created our Pastors Coalition, which uh, unites the faith-based community with our police department so that we can leverage the generosity and resources and energy of our churches to help people who genuinely have needs. You know, not everything we respond to as police officers requires criminal justice intervention. So the Pastors Coalition is really gonna be key in building a healthier and stronger community. We meet with pastors and faith-based leaders every other month and discuss issues and ways that we can all come together to help our residents. You know, speaking of our Pastors Coalition, we also joined the nation to host our first Faith in Blue weekend where we hosted events at area churches to connect with residents and talk about what your police department's all about. That's just a sampling of some of the community engagement front that we've been uh, implementing since I took over in April. 
You know, we've got some exciting news that we'll be starting up some neighborhood watch groups soon. So stay tuned, 2023, you're going to see some more programs coming online, and we would love to have your partnership. You know, also in 2022, we have to admit that we've transformed the way that we communicate. I know that you've seen this, you know, White Settlement's really on the map as a major regional contender when it comes to generating news coverage across North Texas. We are in the fifth largest media market in the nation, which means that there is no shortage of news programs or opportunities to get our messaging out. Through our proactive news releases and positive relationships with local media that I had brought here from Arlington, we've certainly dialed up the exposure that our town receives in a positive manner. Check out this small newsreel that we put together just to see the amount of coverage that we've been able to generate. Talk about a cool light display. The White Settlement Police Department activated their emergency lights and made them Wednesday morning, White Settlement Police launched an officer on the school bus enforcement initiative. To we know that it's, a, it's that time of year. Families get together. White Settlement Police Chief Chris Cook says they'll have more officers on main roads this holiday weekend. White so Settlement Chief to, Christopher uh, Cook says person. he's received calls from parents asking about their training. They're going to run towards danger. White Settlement Police arrested a motorcyclist for evading officers after a short chase yesterday. Hi there. Well, if you are driving through White Settlement and you have outstanding felony warrants, the chances are greatly increasing. Police will spot you. Thanks. Well, police in the Fort Worth suburb of White Settlement believe a serial burglar is targeting businesses. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has more in this week's trackdown. We are in White Settlement today with Chief Christopher Cook. Over the weekend, two cops in White Settlement got in a foot chase. With this suspect who took off after the officers tried pulling him over for driving a stolen White car. Settlement police received several 911 calls about a man walking down the street waving a machete. Hey, stop! Police! Yeah, it happened this week in White Settlement. Officers heard the sound of a drill, spotted a jacked up SUV and a man running off. Police caught up with him on a neighbor's porch. He's charged with felony. Police theft. in White Settlement are thanking a good Samaritan who was in the right place at the right time. Today marks 20 years since police captain George Monet was shot and killed in the line of duty. It is first responder appreciation day. The White Settlement Police Department sharing these pictures on Facebook. Several of our local police and firefighters were honored at the Texas Rangers baseball game earlier. Check this out. Police in White Settlement found this pickup truck that had been reported as stolen more than a year ago out of Hearst. What gave it away? paper tags. The agreement in Tarrant County will allow white settlement and Lake Worth police officers to work within the borders of Fort Worth. The White Settlement Police Department is honoring Lockheed Martin. The company has been manufacturing aircrafts at its plant for 80 years. The city commissioned a commemorative police badge. And White Settlement Police posted this on Twitter saying, quote, just finished working a 12 hour shift in Sansom Park for their team so they could be at the hospital overnight. Hey, welcome back. So I had an interesting uh, uh, time Saturday evening. I uh, emceed the firefighter banquet in White Settlement. So oh, I started awesome. off the banquet and I told the crowd why we appreciate, my wife and I appreciate firefighters so much. Officers in the Fort Worth suburb of White Settlement found more than they expected when they went to check on someone sleeping in a car. White Settlement police released dash camera footage this week of the encounter. As an officer approached the car, he spotted several guns. Trending on NBCDFW.com this morning, White White Settlement is now the home of a first of its kind McDonald's. It made it hard for police to locate that car later. It's so unfortunate when we have these suspects that, that put all of our families at risk uh, because they engage in violent crimes or they run from the police with these paper tags. We've got to do something. Police in suburban Fort Worth chased down and arrested a man they say was driving a stolen car. A dash and body cam video shows yesterday's chase and White Settlement.
You know, coupled with our proactive media strategy, everyone will also probably agree that we've transformed our social media presence in the way that we communicate with you. You know, when I got here in April, we had about 4,000 followers on Facebook. We now have an audience that's grown to almost 14,000. That's huge, 10,000 new followers. Twitter, we had a dismal following, just under 1,000 people. We now have over 5,000 followers on my Twitter feed, along with the department's Twitter feed that releases real-time updates in crime issues. We also launched an Instagram page to capture the interests of our younger demographic, who quite frankly, younger folks just aren't really on Facebook anymore. We also created a YouTube page that catalogs all of our video-based products that we produce in-house. And in 2023, we're gonna launch out on the Nextdoor. Many of you are probably already on Nextdoor, and that'll allow us to stay connected with the conversations going on there as well. All of these social media platforms allow us to spread our message quickly, also allows us to bolster our transparency and keep you informed on what's going on. Thank you for following and keep the comments coming in. You know, I think our biggest hit in 2022 on social media was the development of two video programs. The first being WSPD TV, which has been huge and attracted a very large following. In WSPD TV programs, we highlight extraordinary police work we also use it as a platform to seek the public's help in solving crime. The other hit program is this video series you're watching now, On the Job, which I've received a lot of feedback from the community that they really like seeing a weekly wrap up on what the police department's been doing. The best part of both of these video products is that you can go to our YouTube page and catch up on any missed editions or episodes. So there you have it. We are really proud of the way that we've increased our communication efforts across the city over the past year. Quickly now, I want to highlight a few more things before we close out the program today. We've achieved our best practices accreditation last year from the Texas Police Chiefs Association. This means that White Settlement PD is one of only 186 agencies out of 2,700 across the Lone Star State to meet this rigorous standard. Also, the Crime Control Prevention District, our city manager and city council and mayor, approved our budget ask and made a huge commitment to our salary structure and refreshing our technology and equipment needs. Here's just a couple of the highlights here. We're in the process of upgrading our computers in the car. We're also upgrading our body-worn camera system. We have standardized our weapon systems that officers carry. We are switching to a new state-of-the-art record management system, which will also overhaul our dispatch CAD software and the mobile software that our officers in the car use. We also implemented Evertel so that our officers can securely communicate relevant criminal justice information and intelligence. We also received a grant to expand our license plate reader technology throughout the city. And this program has really allowed us to capture numerous violent fugitives and recover missing persons and stolen vehicles. We also continue to look for ways to enhance our technology and tools so that our officers, our detectives, our professional staff, our dispatchers have the best equipment and can make a positive impact in this city. Some other highlights uh, from last year that I wanna share real quickly. You know, we painted our building, we added some new signage out front, we redid the front lobby. We also created a lasting memorial for our fallen heroes that proudly stands out front. We standardize our uniforms that our officers wear. We created many new partnerships, one with Air Force Plant 4 and Lockheed Martin. We also created a new partnership with the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base and the Navy Police. We signed new agreements with the Fort Worth Police Departments to expand our territorial jurisdiction. We also added their radio channels to our talk groups so we can communicate uh, with them when we have in-progress crimes that cross over. We signed another agreement with White Summit ISD Police Department to better position both of our departments to work together on school-related uh, events. We joined forces with Westworth Village Police Department to provide dispatch and jail services, and we also regularly back them up as they back us up as well. We also added an agreement with Westover Hills Police Department to provide jail services to their team as well. We added a lot of new training initiatives, including active shooter training and threat assessments in our schools. I also reorganized and restructured the way our department aligns our services with our community needs. We signed a new agreement with the Drug Enforcement Administration and now have a corporal that is fully assigned to narcotics investigations that affect our city. We took over Animal Services Shelter and rebranded it as PAWS, Protecting Animals of White Settlement Community Center. Boy, the team over there is doing a phenomenal job with our furry friends. 
We also got a new grant for ballistic shields. Uh, we also ordered door breaching equipment that can assist officers getting into uh, locked doors in the event of an emergency. We added speed measuring detection equipment uh, to our inventory. We also are in the process of creating a drone unit. We've been working with the FAA, the base, and Lockheed. Um, this will allow us to not only search for missing persons, but help during in-progress crimes, but also help provide intelligence during special events in our community. We hosted our first annual award ceremony and allowed us to celebrate the collective achievements that our employees accomplished over the past year. You know, this is the first time we had an award ceremony in many, many years, a great event. And last but certainly not least, you know, we took home a National Night Out Award for the celebration that we hosted in October. Unprecedented amount of people that showed up. and It's a testament to the community backing that we enjoy right here in our hometown. You know, I could keep on talking probably for an hour or more about the great things that your team has done and accomplished, but I'm going to save some of that for our annual report to City Council in March. We're going to provide a booklet that you can also peruse and look through, and it really highlights the great things that have been going on. You know, as I close out, I want to give a shout out to Lowe's Home Improvement Store. They donated a grill recently that we can now utilize for community events. We really appreciate the gift and know that we're going to put it to good use. I also want to extend my deepest congratulations to Assistant Chief Tim Dennison. Many of you saw that he got selected to be the next Chief of Police from Mineral Wells. I've known Tim for over 20 years. You know, we worked together as rookie police officers. I've got a lot of fun and fun memories with working with Tim. I was so excited that he was on our leadership team when I took the job here in April to be the police chief. And while I'm certainly sad that he's leaving and, and he's going to leave some big shoes to fill, we are so happy and he knows that we have his back. We're gonna help him every step of the way, anything that he needs. We will announce a retirement reception in, uh, at some point in the next couple of weeks that you can come out and shake his hand and give him encouragement as well. So stay tuned uh, for that. But again, congratulations, Tim. We are so proud of you, and we know you're going to do great things in your wells. Well, there you have it. You know, thanks for spending a few minutes as I recap the past year with you. You know, we're so excited about the next year as well. 2023, we're going to see some great things happen. From our crime fighting, from our crime fighting strategy, to our community engagement, to the new programs we're going to bring online. You know, we love this community so much, and we're going to continue working hard for all of you. Make no bones about it. Word's getting out that we're cleaning the town up. We just had a uh, suspect today tell one of my sergeants that he knew better than to come into White Settlement. He'd been seeing our videos on social media and when uh, we got behind him, made a traffic stop, he was up to no good of course, made an arrest. He's like, you know, I knew better than to come into this town. I knew the good things that y'all were doing. And so the word's getting out. Um, crime is trending uh, downward, uh, not only property crime, but also some of our violent crime. We're making a difference. We, our officers, I mean, my hat's off to them. They are going out each and every day and they are really being proactive in looking for crime and disorder, quality of life issues and addressing them. And so with that, happy new year, happy 2023. We can't wait to see you. Hopefully we will have some community events uh, in the near future. Again, Citizens Police Academy is about to start back up. Our Citizens on Patrol is active. We have the Public Safety Cadets program starting up for our young people. There is no shortage of ways for you to get involved. So have a great 2023. Have a great blessed week. Thank you so much again for spending a few minutes with us as we highlight uh, over the past year of what we were able to accomplish. God bless all of you.